I had a whole bunch of errands to do today. I had to go get more blood testing, which is always such fun. Um, had to do the post office. And and one of the things I'm doing, all right, I'm going to admit I was a bad, I, I'm, I'm a bad pandemicer. okay? I'm going to admit to this because early on in the pandemic, I was like, well, if I just keep my distance from people, and, you know, you know I'll, I'll be fine. I don't need no gloves, no mask. I'll be fine. Now, now I'm going out in, I've got like an N5 respirator, N95 respirator I have for, for, for my hardware bench. Um, I've got neoprene gloves. I'm going out in this crap. And I'm discovering fun aspects of the, uh, the, the apocalypse that we weren't considering before. Like, for example, when you go out in gloves... This becomes a problem. Yeah. <clears throat> this doesn't understand gloves. We've seen people out with one glove so they can use their phone. And we're like, just don't bother. Yeah. Also, another problem is the uh, the touch screens for, for paying for stuff is another one. I'm, I'm like, pin number must enter um shire just uses his nose ew ew that's worse, that's, that's worse. yeah he's not supposed to touch face someone in our it's... neighborhood was nice enough to make us cloth masks i just haven't left the house in the last two weeks i haven't gone beyond the porch but we walked up to get the mail today and took a walk around the neighborhood because i'm trying to rescue this little injured cat that we have this cat that's been showing up on our deck. So I started leaving out food and he showed up last night and he's dragging his back leg. It's mm. like, there's no blood, but it's either broken or dislocated. Like he's oh. dragging it. Poor thing. So someone in the neighborhood does TNR and was nice enough to loan us a trap. And, but we figured we'd go out and look for tracks today, but it snowed enough overnight that all the tracks are gone. Wait, it's snowing where you are. Yes, it was <laughs> 75 degrees on Saturday. And then yesterday it plummeted to 24. In the past two days, it's been 24 and snowing. Colorado. We I had told a it's going to be like this pretty much until like June. We had a tornado. Yeah. This morning. Yeah, and like Krakatoa blue. Yeah. It's the good, good run. We had a good. We. The, the, I mean, did we? Two hundred thousand years. I think we did okay. You know. Yeah. We 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 we've had our time. It's it's we're done. We we can. Yeah, I posted the poor wounded kitty to Instagram. So I'm hoping he comes by tonight, and we can trap him and find an emergency vet that'll take him. Because hmm. I don't know how long he's going to last on that leg. You know. You didn't know about the you didn't know about the the volcano. Yeah, crack. It's hard to keep track because everything's. I know because just literally, you know. everything is on fire. Yeah, Krakatoa exploded last night so yeah i'm told the weather is pretty normal for colorado that like 71 days snow the next and i asked like well how long and they're like till you know solstice <laughs> okay cool all right come on work oh well, okay you're looking on the wrong hard drive stupid but that's one of the ways we knew this cat had an injured leg because when I looked at the tracks in the snow, like you could tell one leg is being dragged. So, so yeah, the the, the volcanoes are erupting and hurricanes and bad mood on their eyes as the man so yeah. All right, let's get the intro going and let's let's revel in the, in the ashes. Um, Yay! Yeah. All right, come on now, come on, stupid thing. Come on, can something work tonight, please? This Just... show's going to get really interesting as the apocalypse rolls on. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the uh, worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back your little segment we like to call. What the fuck is. Hello, Grady, is wrong with you? Oh. Uh... Grady. <laughs> Okay, that noise you just heard, that wah, that that's that's the noise he makes where he's screaming and yawning at the same time. <laughs> I think he was back here on the dog bed snoring for a while, but he does it so often. He does off. he does it so often. I can actually tell when he's he's like the world is 
is ending. The uh, world oh. is ending. I'm so tired, though. Brady. Dude, I'm trying to do oh. shit. Come on. But, but why don't you love me? <laughs> well, get over here, then. <laughs> no, you have to prove your love. Well, stupid can just live over there, then. Like, don't you think this is going to be such an interesting show to do as the apocalypse rolls on? Because, like, which one of the horsemen is going to be naked? I'm thinking plague, obviously. Pestilence with his balls out, yeah. Well, not everything, of course, is centered around the uh, the plague. Um, we have other stupidity, too. And uh, it was Easter this past weekend. It was. So, of course, someone had to attempt to ruin it. Man accused of pointing a gun at a waving Easter bunny. Come on. Middleburn, Ohio. A man brandished a gun and threatened a person playing the Easter bunny who was waving the motorist from an interstate overpass in Ohio. 49-year-old man was arrested Wednesday in Middleburn. The uh, Daily Jeffersonian reported he was given a breath alcohol test um, taken to a medical facility when jail officials refused to book, book him because of an elevated temperature, leading to concerns he might be infected with coronavirus. Is that like a QAnon cure or something? Like, did the internet crazies decide that if you can drink the Easter Bunny's blood, you're immune? Because eh. I wouldn't be surprised. Actually, you know, another thing can raise your body temperature? Drugs. Drugs can raise your body temperature. Um, man can face charges of aggravated menacing and improper handling of a firearm. Uh, deputies found the suspect and another man sitting inside a camouflage painted pickup truck parked at the edge of a field. A 22 caliber handgun and an open 12 pack of beer were seized as evidence. Isn't a 22 the kind that only holds like two bullets at a time? It's a tiny little gun. Yeah. Mother, mother, this this is like it's like the thigh holster gun. This is a Ray Stevens song. Come on. You think you're a badass in your camo truck with a 22? Who drives a camo pickup? Honestly. Yeah. We can see it. Spoilers. We 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 we've we we we've spotted it. Yeah. We found Waldo. We can see you. And so can the poor Easter Bunny. Why? Now granted, yeah, cause probably we, not a great time to be out running around in public as the Easter Bunny. Well, no, what they're doing as as part of this is, and they're doing this in a couple of places. Um, this is actually the city sponsored, so they're trying to be safe about it. They're not letting the kids come and get on the Easter Bunny's lap, but they're actually taking the, the Easter Bunny through neighborhoods so okay. kids can see him. And they're like, oh, the Easter Bunny still exists. There's still hope and light in the world. And then a, here comes a guy pointing mm -hmm. a gun at the in, Easter Bunny. In the Bunny. Northeast, they do that with Santa at Christmas. It's a candy cane run. They put mm -hmm. him on the fire truck. And Dan had never experienced it when we were in New Jersey. And he was like, something in the neighborhood's been on fire for like three hours. And oh. I'm like, oh, no, it's the candy cane run. And he's like, what the fuck is a candy cane run? <laughs> and then Santa came by on the hook and ladder. And I'm like, the candy cane run. He throws candy at the kids in the back of the fire truck, and he's like, what? Dark Angel in the chat says, I shot the Easter Bunny. I did not shoot the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> that, that was... Hi, are you, are you gonna... Dad! Are you gonna... You gonna be on the... You're gonna... Uh, uh. Please love me. Look at you. Look at oh, this. I'm so alone. Look at that poor, unloved little specimen. Look at this thing. Oh. <laughs> Hello, goofball. All right. More nonsense. And of course, we, we are going to have the human malware. Um, now, this article kind of annoyed me because of the way it's phrased. That's like, should people be doing this? Oh, look at you getting all comfy. <laughs> he is so cute. <laughs> that's all he wanted. He's purring. Little idiot. Um, and the story annoyed me because the way it's written, it's like, you shouldn't be doing this, but well, it's a, it's a Tampa story. So let's, let's, let's Florida it up in here. Okay. 
Uh, human malware has people calling the police and shaming neighbors on social media. Yeah, um, people across Tampa Bay are now watching each other. Is that healthy? Hmm. Interesting premise. What, what, I mean, what, if you live in Florida, no, it is not healthy to watch your neighbors because you're going to see some shit. What is your example, Christopher Spada? Um, Hillsbury County deputies arrived at a house in the Lake Magdalene area Friday night to find a crowd of 15 around the wrestling ring in the front yard. Some were wearing costumes. Um... I think that's one I'd call the cops on. Yeah, I don't think that's being a busybody. There's there's a makeshift wrestling arena. <laughs> They're having a bootleg WWE in the yard, the front yard. Yeah, I'm I would I'm I'm calling the cops on that. I, I even if there isn't malware, that seems unsafe. Right. Um, here's another one that's like, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to call about that. Someone called because they saw 50 motorcycles gathered near a McDonald's. I'd call about that even if there wasn't a pandemic. That's not... Because some, some shit's about to go down. Yeah, something's about to happen. <laughs> the Hells Angels have rolled up on Ronald McDonald. Okay, stuff's about to happen. Oh, good God, look at you. The Hamburglar's time is finally up. Look, look at him. <laughs> Little angel. That's just all he wanted in the world. Listen, none of my cats will let me do that. Dottie, Dottie will put up with it, but she just gives you this angry little face. <sighs> and if you hold on to her too long, she starts bunny kicking you. Peggy growls and Simba bites. Oh, this guy is freaking. This is you're a baby, is what you are. You're a whiny, spoiled baby. <laughs> Hairy baby. Hairy baby. So yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I think the guy who wrote this article has got a weird perspective, or maybe yeah. he lives in Florida. Is like what you call the cops over that? That's that's like Tuesday here, you know. 50 bikes at the... Ooh, they're having a bootleg wrestling ring. Ooh. 50 motorcycles at McDonald's? Pff, call me when there's like 200. Yeah, call me when they start shooting. But only if like more than one person starts shooting. Because if it's just one, that doesn't count. Right, that doesn't... I, th I think the people in, in Florida have gotten a little uh, um, jaded about the nonsense in their state. Yeah. Like, we have a neighbor that's kind of having little block parties... And I've been watching it, and I'm like, I'm new to the neighborhood, so I'm not going to be the narc. But I'm also not going to go. Yeah. The, my neighbors keep having, like, gatherings, and I'm like, um, stay away from me. Don't, yeah. don't come near me. We'll just we'll just see you another time. Uh, we'll see you in, like, next year, maybe. Yeah. Um. So what's going around right now in, in the wake of all this is healthcare. We're, we're kind of deifying healthcare workers. And you know what? On the one hand, yeah, they're doing an important job. But on the other, um, they're being treated miserably, and we're kind of using the de de deification of them to Dan says justify. it's going to get to be like the military, where we all just spit out, thank you for your service, but don't actually do anything to help those people. Yeah. We just make, um, you know, teary-eyed commercials for the Super Bowl. Yeah. So I feel for some of them. Um, except... Except, and is, is this Florida again? Christ, it's Florida again. I feel except for this guy, because fuck this one particular dude. Fuck this dude. Paramedic busted for coughing on store cashier. After declaring the social distancing rules were, quote, getting out of hand, a customer yesterday, quote, forcefully coughed on a store cashier and announced that, he goes up to people wearing masks and does the same thing to them. Wow, you're a real man. Investigators allege that Christopher Canfora, a 49-year-old paramedic, intentionally coughed on a female employee at a tool store near his home in DeBerry. Uh, as described in the charging affidavit, Canfora approached cashier Amy Pugh 
Uh, I think I said that right. Um, and commented on tape markers placed on the ground to ensure patrons stayed six feet apart. 21-year-old 20 uh, told cops that Ken Farrer remarked, This is getting out of hand. This is why everywhere I go, I cough behind everyone with a mask. Seen above, Ken Farrer then allegedly coughed on the cashier. And all over the register where, she was, where he was standing, she said after coughing on her, he said he was going to, to be on his way to do this again. At a wind Boy, if I was in an ambulance, that'd be the guy I'd want taking care of me. This, how is this the kind of person who feels like I, I want to to attend to the health of others? I think you're not well suited for your career. Yeah, I I just you don't get to do that. I don't like these rules. I don't like it. I, this isn't stupid. So I'm gonna I'm gonna prove it's stupid by being an asshole. Good job. You know you couldn't do that before the right. pandemic. It can be like I don't see why I have to wear a shirt in here, so I'm not gonna wear a shirt because it's stupid rule. So I'm gonna. <sighs> There's a certain subset of people, and I'm not gonna specify which subset of people because YouTube comments. But there's a certain subset of people that's that like have never in their lives been told they can't do a thing or actually suffered consequences. And so now when we're all being asked to not do a thing, they're just like, no, nah, fuck you. This is America. I can do what I want. <sighs> like this is not the time to prove you're a fucking badass yeah. or to be a libertarian in general. Yeah, I'm joking about a decline and fall, but this is absolutely the worst potential disaster to hit our country yeah. just because of the mentality of a good portion of this country. Like, I'm I am on an island and screw you guys. I do you don't tell me. I'm you're not the you boss of me. Do. Like I, I live in like the little liberal center of Colorado, but like out on the edges is all the like rural libertarians. And they are fucking heated. I guess where everybody's sick. <laughs> yep. Not here. Not here where we stay in the fucking side. We have we, this is gonna be I, I was I was <laughs> she says as she coughs. I just said <laughs> <laughs> Irony. No, I I I expect this this is I want this to stop, and hopefully in a few months it will, but this is gonna be a lot of our stories for a while now, just people reacting badly to having to do things they don't want to do. Yeah, because we are big fucking babies. For example, from Santa Cruz, seven people find $1,000 each for violating stay-at-home order. It's the cost of going out on Saturday night. It just keeps going up. Really? Who wrote that? Who, who did that? Artemis... <coughs> wait, Artemis... Mashtagian. Artemis Mashtagian? Artemis Mashtagian and J. That's Croft. That's a great name. It is a great name. Um, for seven visitors to Santa Cruz, California, the bill came to $7,000 in fines for violating local shelter-in-place guidelines. Oh, wait, we actually have a sh uh, SIP guidelines. We have, a, we, have a sh we have an acronym now, guys. It's official. Um, they came from Fremont to get some, quote, essential drinks. Um, the drive from Fremont to Santa Cruz is nearly 50 miles. You drove an hour to, to go a, to a 7-Eleven? To a 7-Eleven! Not what? like a craft brewery. No, not like, you know, a steakhouse or... go to a 7 goddamn 11 A 7-Eleven! Who drives an hour for a se The only time you drive an hour for 7-Eleven is if there is no 7-Eleven within an hour of you. Yeah. Fremont has them. Fremont is not exactly, you know, the middle of nowhere. Well, and yes. California is not fucking around. <laughs> like, that governor declared them a nation state. They yeah. We fucking America over this shit. Like, yeah. They are not fucking around. 
he's making alliances with other states. Like they're just gonna bounce. Do you blame us? Yeah. No. You... I'm gonna have to move. Uh, um, to just why are you seven people? So you know they were all in one car. Yeah. I just why like were you confused as to why the clubs weren't open? Right. I'm. And, like, I... I've been to Santa Cruz on a baton twirling trip. <laughs> There's not a lot to do in Santa Cruz. No. But... Like on our sightseeing day on the baton twirling trip, we went to San Francisco because there's nothing to do in Santa Cruz. Yeah, Greg says in SoCal, we got more 7 Elevens and Starbucks. But you drove an hour to go to a 7 Eleven. That's. It's... Rethink your life. It cost you a thousand dollars. That's the most expensive slushy you ever had. Yeah. Well, we it, oh, back to Florida. Good God. All right. Well, this is okay. The good news is this has little to do with the pandemic. Um, that's about the only good news. Florida man charged with New Jersey pizza fraud over fake orders for first responders. So welcome to the worst person we, in the world this week. New Jersey authorities filed criminal charges against a Florida man who allegedly made a series of calls to local pizza restaurants, placing huge fake orders on behalf of the local police and other first responders, and then using subsequent calls to scream racial epithets. South Brunswick's police said uh, Sudeep Katani, 34, of Orlando, allegedly committed more than a dozen instances of fraud striking pizza parlors in three counties. Multiple pizzerias lost thousands of dollars on giant orders placed and then never picked up or paid for. At least one restaurant closed after losing substantial money on a fake order. Um, yeah, here's just to, to clarify this for all you crank call motherfuckers. Um, the, the, the ingredients to make a pizza do not come from the pizza fairy. No. They buy them. Yeah. And they use them, and they recoup the money they use to buy them by selling the pizzas they make from them. You see how and that they're works? they're working right now. Yeah. They're working in the middle of all this. So if no one, if no one gives them money for the pizza, the money goes away. You idiot. In multiple cases, authorities said Katani allegedly screamed vulgar and racist abuse at Italian employees of the restaurant, wishing the coronavirus on them and telling them to go back to Italy. It gets better. Is this like a tastier medicine thing? I, I don't know. It gets it gets better. Um, or is this guy displaced from 1890? <laughs> South Brunswick police say they are working with authorities in Florida to find Katani, who is currently on probation for selling fake tickets to Walt Disney World. This guy just sucks all the way around. <laughs> it's just... Why should we be subjected to you? Why should you be here? Why, why do we have to go around... What was the goal here? I just... What was the goal? Ha ha ha, they made a bunch of pizzas. Okay, well, you live a thousand miles away, so it's not like you're there to see the looks on their faces. And also, what one of the things about everybody who does these... Especially this and the swatters and all these people who do phone fraud. The confidence they will not be caught. Yeah. Is astonishing considering. You probably called from one of these. Yeah. Because who the fuck has a landline anymore? Yeah. And these are really, really, really easy to trace. Yeah, I mean, it's well, I could use Skype. No, they they can trace that. They can trace that easier than they can trace the the. Like iPhone, all that shit in, in the nineties about oh my god, it's going to be a surveillance state and we're all going to have to hide. We all volunteered. Seriously, right? We're all like. Yeah, no, if you let me play Candy Crush, I will surveil myself 24-7. But that 
that means you can't really commit crimes on these because you're going to get caught. The last one tonight. We're getting back to our wheelhouse. A little bit, a little taste of normalcy. Which is our, our version of normalcy. It, sh it should be comforting. It's not comforting. It's just our horrifying flavor of normalcy. I would like to report that people are finally heeding our warning. And they are no longer attempting to go down chimneys, to the best of my knowledge. So I think it's working. Our message is getting out there. Are they going up them? No, they're going down pipes. Uh oh, you're not Mario. <laughs> <laughs> this shit's not the warp zone. What are you doing? You can't do it. Would be burglar screams for help as he gets stuck in a pipe while trying to break into a Houston business. And look at this. I like that they put pipe in all caps. Like, they can't believe it either. Look, he's like, <laughs> he got to his shoulders. Oh, God. And then, whoopsie doodle. Would be burglar screams for help. We heard from a rooftop as he struggled to escape a <laughs> pipe he had wedged himself in while trying to break into a business in Houston. Unnamed man allegedly tried to break into a building on Evergreen Street. He apparently got caught sliding down the pipe and began yelling. Witnesses Why did you think you were going to fit? They don't understand how this shit works. Like cats have whiskers for Yes. This? We have a frontal lobe. <laughs> Maybe he needs whiskers. Maybe the frontal lobe just... The, work he, out. He lost yeah. the instructions. It was like, I can't... I, what are all these, things, these buttons here? I don't know what this does. <laughs> I'll be just give me some extra hair on my face. I'll be fine. When fire crews arrive, it took them 45 minutes to pry the man loose. Later turned over to police who said he was tempted to break into the building. Suspect was laid on the stretcher, taken to the local hospital, where he's in stable condition. Your shoulders! Your sh yeah. sh that's uh. like the guy that got baby Jessica out of the well. Half the audience has no idea what I'm talking about because they're babies. Uh, that guy was able to do that because he had no collarbone. Yeah. So he could basically fold himself in half until his shoulders touched each other. Most humans can't do that. No. I just, it's not going to work. I we just, are not cats. We are not a liquid. Now, was this one of those things where it was like he was passing by and you're like, oh, what the hell? Let's try this. Or... Was this a plan he had? Had he did, scoped did, out this pipe? Like, did he think he was Danny Ocean? Yeah. <laughs> Is he walking by like, I could fit down that pipe. Plans assembled. Let's get to work. Should have at least had the decency to wear a red cap and a fake mustache. da 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 like, would it kill da, any da, 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 da. <laughs> Well, for all we know, he may have been eating mushrooms, so, you know. <laughs> for these, He might be already there. Just, the uh, first thing we have to learn this week yet again is... <laughs> you can't... Don't try... If you, if you see a hole, don't try to fit yourself in it. <laughs> Don't. That goes double. That goes double for men. <laughs> See, and I went there. I know. <laughs> don't. You know who married. That's why we're married. Don't. Don't try to. St just don't. It's not. It's not an invitation. Every hole is not an invitation. That's. That's another. That's a good one. We learned. We learned a thing. Um. We've learned this week that uh, you are not the jerky boys. Well, there's a dated reference. Um, <laughs> what's a jerky boy? I don't understand. You're I'm Gen Z. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm being that guy. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, just it, it. It they'll find you. They gonna find you. You are so dumb. Um, we've learned that there's probably a 7-Eleven closer than an hour away. Yeah. I'm with, have you heard of the Google Maps? 
I they have a fucking service that will bring the liquor to your door now. This is Dan's new favorite thing. <laughs> he, presses, <laughs> he presses a few buttons, and two hours later, a dude drops a box of liquor on the front step. Oh my god, that, that's one of those things. Like you know, uh, two months ago, oh, we'll never do that. <laughs> Yeah. There, here's all these reasons and rules. We'll never deliver alcohol to your door. And now it's like, yeah, here, here's, here's a box of whiskey. Have fun. He bought a bunch of shit. I was like, why do we have Aperol and absinthe? And he's like, well, I had a minimum. So I just bought some shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it used to be, they would be like, we need to see your ID. Now they just put it on the, put it on the steps and walk away. Guy <laughs> just waved at me through the window, dropped the box. Oh, booze. You don't have to leave the house. We've learned that just because you're a healthcare worker does not mean you're a hero. Sometimes it means you're an asshole. I just, I, can we look at this guy's face again? Because that mugshot is just killing me. He looks like an asshole. He does. That He that definitely is, wears Oakley's like on the back of his head. He's, he, he takes that. Have you seen the asshole you know selfie? You fucking assholes who when they take off their Oakleys, they put them on the back of their head? He's that guy. Have you seen the asshole selfie? Yeah. It's always the sunglasses. It's always in a car. It's a, it's this guy. It's this, it's this fucker. It's that guy. Um, We've learned that what may pass for unusual in other places is just a weekday in Florida. What I'm like you? Erie, Indiana. That's Florida. What like you don't have wrestling on your neighbor's lawn every day? That's the thing that happens. Your, your neighborhood sounds boring. And finally, we've learned. Um, don't don't point guns at the Easter Bunny. No, uh, that should, we shouldn't have to say that. I just that's, that's really okay a thing when, we should. That's like a basic thing. It's only okay when Kevin Smith does it. 